Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi guys, welcome back to Sign Class. Uh, the house, how was the video that I asked you to find five living things and five non-living things that the characters in the video is talking? Yes, I watched some of your videos and I found out that you can catch what's living things and non-living things that uh, the characters are talking about and what we gonna do today today we're gonna work on practice in your book so I will give time I will give you time to get your books I will give time to you to get your book go let's get it tick tock tick tock tick tock or you can pause if you cannot find your book and I will wait for you. One, two, three, four. And I will count from five to one. So let's start. Five, four, three, two, and one. Ta -da! So now we're gonna do. Gonna do. I will work on page 34. You will see that it's the practice 2 on page 34. You, uh, the direction of the activities is that read and answer the following questions. Read and answer the following question. And there is a yellow box. There is a yellow box. And you will see that. Uh, there is two question under your under the yellow box that's uh, the question about the story in the yellow box so in a yellow box and um, let me read the question first the first question it asks we ask us that that from above what are the things found in the story the second sort the thing in question source the thing in question one into living things and non-living things so i will use the red pen to uh to point anything in this page in this page and we will look to it together so the first one we the first item asks us to find to find things to find things in the story and the second item asks us to source to sort the things to sort the things in the question one into two kinds that is living things and non-living things so we will sort things that we found in the first question into two boxes living things in box in blue box and non living things in pink pink box and we will let's start reading let's start our reading the topic of the story is Paul's house Paul house and let's see after school, Paul likes to walk around his house. After school, Paul likes to walk around his house. There is a sidewalk made up of bricks and filled with small white stones. These stones help keep the soil to the ground when it rains or watering the plants. There are many kinds of trees at Paul's house. For example, a blooming white hummingbird tree, a fruiting mango tree, and a golden trumpet tree, which is a lot taller than it was. Also, there are many animals, for example, house lizards that are looking for insects on the wall, some millipedes that look like a small train when they move, and Paul's cat that always waves, waves its tail when it gets angry. Paul is so happy with his surroundings. He plans to finish his homework 
earlier tomorrow so he can explore his house again so let's see this is about Paul's story Paul house what we found in this story in this story things that we found in this story the first one when Paul liked to walk around his house house is also a thing we can uh, underline or make a circle and there is a sidewalk made up of bricks ah the bricks is also a thing so we can circle it and then fill with small white stone small white stone the stone that is small and white stone also small white stone also a thing so we can circle it and then these stones help keep the soil to the ground the soil to keep the soil the soil is uh, things that we walk on it to the ground to the ground the ground is mean what we uh, the ground is things that we walk on it uh, it is similar to soaring but we it can be different things so it's just a noun not a thing when it rains or watering the plants do you think do you think water is a thing watering is mean you give a plants water so water is a thing and plants what plants do we have in this story let's see there are many kinds of trees a trees what trees what kind of trees let's see a Paul at Paul house at Paul's house for example a blooming white hummingbird a blooming white hummingbird is also a blooming white hummingbird tree is one kind of tree and a fruiting mango tree or we can say that a mango tree a fruit a fruiting mango tree is mean uh, the mango tree already had its fruits on the tree so we just write um, mango tree and a golden trumpet tree this is a kind of tree so there are three kind of plants at Paul's house and then which is a lot tall let read let continue reading and a golden trumpet tree which is a lot taller than it was also there are many animals also there are many animals for example which kind of animals at Paul's house let's see for example house lizards house lizards house lizard also an animal that are what it is doing let's see that, that are looking for insects on the wall like a small kind of animals on the wall some millipedes that look like a small train when they move ah some millipedes it said that look like a small train because millipedes have lots of a small legs like tree that have lots of wheels on it and paul's cat ah a cat is also a thing uh, and that always wave its tail when it gets angry paul is so happy with his surroundings he plans to finish his homework earlier tomorrow so he can explore his house again do you think any things in this story no okay let's see let's see the question the first item the first uh, the, the first question asks us to write the things that found in the story so how many things that we found one house let's write it together let's write it down together 
there is a house sorry i will use another colors because it may be may be confused with the question okay house there is a pole that is the stories on it and a house there is a house uh, house and bricks and small white stone or you can write only stone so I will write only stone because small white is uh, adding the detail of stones and then soil and then water and next A blooming white hummingbird or you can write down just a white hummingbird tree and next will be a mango tree Mango tree and a golden trumpet. Three and next lizard or a house lizard. Lizards and insects. And next, millipedes. And a cat. And do you think can we add Paul? Is Paul a living thing or non living thing? So I will add Paul because I think at, uh, Paul can be in one box. So Paul. All these things are things that we found in the story. So next we will write it we will sort it into oh, sorry. We will sort it into two boxes. The first one living things. What what the things that you do you think that it is living things? Um I think a house is an unliving thing. So a house because it cannot move and next bricks bricks is a side walk so we can stem or we can walk on it so I think it's not a living thing so it's non living things bricks and next um, stones stone is non living things and soy also is non-living thing and next uh, house big stone soy and next water water is non-living thing Although there has some movement, but its movement was made by a wind. Yes, its, mo its movements what was made by winds. So water is a living thing. And a white hummingbird tree is a living thing. And a mango tree is a living thing because it's a kind of plants and it's a tree so trees living things and next a golden trumpet tree 
still a living thing. And lizards, lizard is living thing because it's waiting for insects, so they need food. And insects can move, so they are living things because they have to avoid lizard. And millipedes, millipedes is walk on the ground like a train, so it's a living thing and a cat a cat in the story with its tail when it's angry so a cat is a living thing because it reacts to stimuli and Paul Paul is a living thing because he can walk around his house he need food and he do activities by himself so I think this all for living things and non-living things and this all for today. Eat. You have an extra um, things that you found in the story. You can write it down and then I need you to upload this page. I want to see your writing so I need you up to upload this page after you finish it with me in the group line so don't forget to ask your parents to upload it in group line and that's all for today and um i hope that you now can sort that which things are living things and which things are not living things and do you know what am i i am living things or i am not living things I am a living thing because I need food. I need I need food. I need water. I need air to breathe and I can move by myself and I react to stimuli and I get rid of this but I cannot show you so I just talk to you. And the last one, what the key features of living things do you remember? I can breed and I can grow. Now I am a version of growth human. I mean I'm growing than you and I, I am older than you so I am living thing. And next week what we going uh, next hour what we gonna learn please continue. Please wait for it and I hope that you enjoy my class. See you next time. Bye bye.